Hello, Egyptians. <laughs> so we are here. Um, I'm quite uh, so. Yeah, today today is going to be the first video on on architecture, and it's going to be a long series of videos. And uh, but why why starting with uh, Abydos, the Abydos necropolis? Uh, you will ask. And so one of the things I really wanted to to understand is what is the reason of the pyramids, you know. <laughs> Why the ancient Egyptian built pyramids and why so big and why so massive and why? I had a lot of questions in my mind and I really wanted to understand and, uh, and not just the pyramids, the temples. Uh, I wanted to know and understand what the, the reasons behind those, those shapes and elements and monuments and uh, spatial experiences and materials and proportions and typologies I don't know it's so it was such a mystery to me uh, and so and I and I believe that if we want to understand the temples of the new kingdom and uh, of the middle kingdom and and we want to understand the the, the pyramids and the mastabas and everything and the architecture of ancient Egypt, we need to start where everything began. Uh, and so everything began. Um, so and so this video will, will be a short introduction to the Abydos necropolis. And from the next video on, we will go through every single tomb of the cemetery of the South Cemetery of the, of Abydos, uh, where the pharaohs of the first and uh, sorry, where the pre-dynastics um, kings of Egypt, or the so-called pre-dynastics, and uh, Dynasty Zero and Dynasty One and Dynasty Two were buried. Uh, so, and, and it's already crazy in itself, the necropolis of Abydos is already crazy and uh, and it's not the only, it's not, so basically this is the oldest site uh, it's not the oldest site of ancient Egypt, obviously, because you can go back to Napta Playa, but that's Neolithic. So if you're interested in Neolithic, go there if you like. But when we start talking about ancient Egyptian civilization, Abydos was one of was one of, one of the oldest. And then you have a uh, Hierakonpolis, which is the Greek name of Nakada, and uh, you have a few sites. Uh, but Abydos is definitely the, the site to study, to begin to study. Um, so this is going to be also the first time I'm going to record the screen because I've done a presentation. So we're going to do like a presentation based um, lecture. Let's say, I don't know if it's a lecture. Uh, so let's see how it goes. And technically it will be better and better over time. So yeah, let's, let's, let's begin. Hello, so apparently it seems that this is working, I, th I think, so let's, I hope, because I'm going to record now and I hope it's going to work. The necropolis of Apidos, what is a necropolis? A necropolis is a city of the dead, okay, it's where, it's like a cemetery, it's where people used to be buried. And Abydos is a Greek name, uh, they're both Greek names, uh, Necropolis is the city of the dead, and Abydos is the Greek name of, from, of Abju, the ancient Egyptian name was Abju. And Abju was a city, uh, was a town that was, that used to be the, capi the religious capital of, of, one of the religious capitals of, uh, of the old kingdom. Uh, as far as I understood there was Heliopolis and then Abydos, but I think if I'm not wrong, Abydos was even earlier than Heliopolis, but my, I might be wrong. I'm not an historian, so... But Abydos, and then Hierakonpolis, uh, which is Nakada, and then a few other places. But... so... but... so... ancient Egyptian, like, civilization at this point was, bur was born in Upper Egypt, and... Uh, and was... Uh, basically, they, the story is like... 
the first king that unified Lower and Upper Egypt into one nation was called King Narmer. And we're gonna, in the next video, we're gonna go through the tomb of King Narmer, which is in Abydos. And, uh, but uh, so far in this video, we'll go through the generic, uh, the generic uh, master plan of the Abydos necropolis. So Abydos is, uh, you know, you see, he's in uh, Upper Egypt. You see, like, you have Lower Egypt, which is the delta of the Nile. You have the Nile here. And you have this, is the Fayuma uh, oasis. And uh, from, like, this point down, south, you will consider all of this to be, like, Upper Egypt. And, um, and so, like, Luxor is kind of here, in this area, where, where, the, where, the, where the Nile does this bend. And so Abjur is a little bit north from Luxor, it's like, I think like 150 kilometers, something like that. And I have Dendera above here, but it's not in our interest at this point. And so we know where we are. <laughs> so Abydos is in the middle, so Ab at this point, uh, nowadays, this is Google Earth. So Abydos is this small town here, you see, and uh, it's in between the green valley of the Nile, the floodplain and the desert so the city is in between this is uh, the city the town which is very small actually uh, I, I i thought it was way larger because it was so important back in the times but no it's just this small town uh, and you see uh, it's in between the two realms uh, the vegetation and the life and death uh, it's, it's already poetry in the location uh, zooming in a little bit, we, uh, we have like here, this is the town of Abydos, and you can see already in the middle of the town, you have a cut. And it's not a cut, it's basically the temple of uh, Seti I, the father of uh, Ramses II. And it's a big temple that is there, it's wonderful, and uh, so you can see in, this, in the urban structure of Abydos, there is this huge monument. And that's the monument that you will visit if you go to Abydos. That's that's basically what they show you. Because all we're gonna talk about in the next month or two, it's if you don't, you know, you, you need to pay a special visit, you know, to, to visit the sites that, that we are going to talk about. And so the sites we are going to talk about is all in this desert area you see around here, from the town of Abydos until this. Um, you know, how do, I don't know how to say in English, it's like this uh, like serpentine valley here, narrow serpentine valley here that leads to the, the, the deep desert. This was one of the routes that would lead you to the, to the, to the, you know, to the extreme desert. And this is very important for us because um, this was believed to be the door of the underworld uh, because the sun sets this is north oriented, this map, so this, this is actually to the south, oh, the view is to the south, and the sun will set to the west here, uh, but somehow this was believed to be the door of the underworld. Uh, and so all the cemeteries that we're going to talk about are all in this area. And so this is like the picture of, hang, I might do like this is better. Oh my god, I've done something wrong. Uh, just a second, okay. So this is the uh, straight, the, the narrow valley that we, that I just told you. <laughs> and uh, and this, all of these things, you see? All of these potteries, uh, all these things are pottery and uh, are found. There are so many broken pieces of pottery um, we're gonna talk about it uh, in the next in the next days in the next weeks and <laughs> months. Um, but they in this area they found a brewery, a beer brewery, uh, huge. Like they they were they used to make thousands and thousands of liters. Uh, so I don't know if per day, but <laughs> probably not per day. But yeah, so it's an interesting area. Uh, so this is the the site of uh, of this. This is actually the south part of the necropolis, um, and we're gonna talk about about this area in the la in the next month or two. So just one or two months just on this area, 
uh, and then we're gonna talk about the other area which is this uh, this one a little bit to the north uh, where this <laughs> where there is this giant beast is the the well we're gonna talk about it later and so this is the for example this is this, the temple of Seti the first this um, two courtyard one courtyard two courtyards this is the actual temple itself and this is the annexion uh, the annex, but uh, this is an L-shaped temple. It's very strange. Uh, some believe that uh, they were building it, and then were excavating, and they found the Osirion, which was older, and then so then they they just built uh, an L-shape. But it's not it's not confirmed. Uh, this is, if I'm not wrong, this is Ramses II, so the son of Seti, made the temple here. But I don't think I'm wrong. I think this is actually the temple of Ramses II. Um, and uh, so this, if you wanted to go to the South Cemetery, this would be the road that leads you to the South Cemetery. Um, and so this is how it looks nowadays on Google Earth. <laughs> the, but, but this is not the whole thing. So this is, so what this is, is this is the pre-dynastic part of the South Cemetery, okay? So this is where archaeologists found the tombs of the earliest, earliest kings of Egypt. Uh, for example, in this one here, uh, if I'm not wrong, but I think I'm right, this is the king, uh, the so-called King, king Scorpion tomb. Okay, the tomb of King Scorpion. They're not, you know, the tomb King Scorpion is built as a legend uh, upon uh, not many evidences. Uh, there are not many evidences. We don't have much about him. <laughs> we, do, we just know that his like symbol was uh, scorpion. Uh, but uh, I'm, again, I'm not an historian. We're not gonna talk much about history. But so this is the the tomb of uh, King Scorpion, and all around are uh, other pre-dynastic kings. Um, this is actually the first and second dynasty tombs. And uh, you can you can see from from here. Um, actually, I think we go back a little bit. Sorry, just to go back. The tomb of King Narmer, so the first king of Egypt, the United uh, Egypt. Uh, it's underneath here, so it's made of two rectangles. Which we're, go we're gonna talk about in the next episode, but it's around here. So if if he's, if King Scorpion is here. Uh, Narmer is uh, is down here. Um, yeah, so this is just like, like you know, this is here, and then this part is just below. Uh, and uh, and what you ha what we have here, you can you can tell the difference between this area, which is all covered in sand, and this area, which you it's all covered with sand as well, but you can already see some shapes you know you can see this rectangle you can see this other you can see this courtyard you can see this kind of stair down leading uh, and so all of these are way more elabor elaborate um, tombs than, because this are, comes from the first and the second dynasty they, they are dated uh, to the first and the second dynasty um, and so you can tell already from this, and uh, actually, so this area was built, uh, let's say, in uh, well, one dynasty, so it's like maybe a hundred, maybe less than, a, I don't know, maybe a hundred years, something like that. Because Narmer was from 3100 uh, BC. And uh, and I think here I might be wrong, but it's like maybe 200 years of difference, okay, of evolution here, okay. Uh, but maybe less. It's somewhere around that number. Uh, and so you can see the evolution already, okay. You can see here that there are kind of small and the shapes are. But we're gonna go through the plans of them in the in the next video. Um, but you can tell, no? You can tell the difference already, the scale and the, and the typology already changes a lot. And funny story, uh, this guy here is the, is the tomb of Jer, and uh, he was, when, 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 so when, the fa when this guy died, 
and not just this guy also other <laughs> the others here um, what was common is when the pharaoh died all the royal people that were working for the pharaoh they they they, sh they would have go, go with him you know <laughs> so they were buried with with him here and we don't know if uh, they was they were they were all killed by somebody or they just committed uh, mass suicide what we know is that somehow uh, if you worked for the pharaoh uh, you will know when your time will end and and uh, and well, uh, this is how it was uh, well, and uh, so this is a um, an area uh, which is all again it's all covered by sand and it's the Kazakhenwi tomb it's very interesting it's uh, one of the earliest er, earliest in our perspective so it's like the latest of these tombs and it's the biggest also uh, Kazakhenwi was not very shy he made this amazing tomb which is now um, under the sand but we're going we're going to we're going to see this tomb uh, in the next videos um, and he made the giant beast that I showed you before this one. It's uh, it's unbelievable. And so this guy was uh, it was buried here. Um, it's just south of uh, it's the south of the south cemetery. And this is the whole master plan. And you can tell already from 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 this drawing. Uh, this is the master plan of the Abydos necropolis so far, and with the most relevant tombs. And you can tell already the difference, right? From the north to the south, you can see that these on the top are the most, the, are the oldest tombs. Uh, they were just holes in the ground with um, with a wall of mud bricks and covered uh, with a roof and then covered with sand on top. And that was it. It was a, it was a hole in the, dry, in, the in the ground. And you have the biggest here. This is the King Scorpion one. Then you have in this area, they started to be more structured. You can you can tell already the shapes are more defined. They're not like you know, and the scale are, are a little bigger. So you can see an armor tomb is this one here, made by two chambers, uh, which didn't communicate one of one from one with each other. Uh, and then, but then you can see also, for example, this whole area is one tomb. Uh, one, two, three are is one tomb for uh, King uh, Aha or Aha, I think. First dynasty, first dynasty after an armor, and then all of these others are the are the the workers of the pharaoh. Okay, so this guy actually started the the. the <laughs> Or whatever started the trend and this is Jer uh, King Jer and has all so many like there's like 300 uh, workers buried here so it's like it doesn't really make much sense if you want to pass over the knowledge of how to serve a pharaoh and every time you die all the house goes with you and uh, and, uh, and and then here is uh, I might get confused with the names now because we're gonna go through all the tombs. Every, each tomb that you see here, we're gonna go through each one of them in the next two months. So it's no, no problem if we forget names and stuff. We are at the beginning of the journey. And this is like the son of Jer. It might be Zed, something like that. And this is Meritnate. Uh, no, Meritnate was not this one. I think it was this. Well, I'm, I, may, I might get confused, but. This is one of the most interesting because it has the first time that a stair down leading and I'm not sure if it's a stair or if it's a, of, if it's a slope ramp that is down leading to a chamber and, and uh, it's the first time that happens in, in Egypt and, and so this guy copied uh, and this is the tomb of Zed if I'm not wrong and then you can see the development, right? Uh, it began, uh, you can tell like from, from this building on that the, the, the typology of the tomb began to be more structured, like you have a central chamber and then all around you have um, the other chambers uh, within, in, with, within one building, you know. It's, 
And then you have Kazakenwi, which is the most uh, architectural, let's say, united in a way, you know, it's like, it's the most, um, I would say maybe composed, uh, harmonic uh, of all these tombs. Uh, so it's this guy here. Uh, yeah, so this is the next episode will be in armor and uh, we're going so basically will be just about these two tombs here <laughs> we're gonna make a video on that, on that and then we so we're gonna do an armor we're gonna do uh, aha we're gonna do zer we're gonna do zed kazakenwi merit mate which was the queen peribsen which is this one here and um, we, we're gonna go through all of these tombs and uh, which eventually will lead to the building of the mastabas in the future uh, in Saqqara so but let's stay in Abydos let's stay in the south cemetery for the next month or two and then we move uh, to the north cemetery and then we might go to Saqqara and actually we will go to Saqqara soon uh, but for the next two months we're gonna spend time in this area uh, any question let me know uh, anything you want me or any like thing you want me to, to be more clean and clear of let me know and then if you like the video don't forget to like the video like push this smash the button and if you like to subscribe oh we, we have uh, 53 subscribers so I'm happy guys I'm, I'm happy about this and uh, but I will be way more happy if you if you had any like question and uh, if we start actually have like a conversation through this channel using the channel as a as a tool to learn everybody uh, to, to learn because I don't know everything uh, I know I do all my research I do I talk to some people and I read some books but I watch some videos but documentaries but you know uh, we the truth comes out if we all ask questions and, uh, and use our brain to decipher the mysteries of ancient Egypt. <laughs> this is what we want. But yeah, so yeah, so far so this is it. And I hope this was amazing. And I see you with King Armor. Ciao!